Hey, what's going on, Freddie? My name is Jack here with Mr. and Mrs. Leeds. We are a local online marketing SEO and website design company here in the Springs. Um, I understand you talked to Taylor or someone talked to Taylor about um, having this video analysis done for you. So I wanted to follow up and go ahead and do this. Um, what I want to do is basically in this video analysis is um, go over why a website is important for your online presence, some of the potential keywords that are out there that you could rank for, as well as um, how we go about ranking you for that. Um, sometimes I actually uh, analyze the physical website, but um, from what I understand with Taylor, that, um, it's that you don't currently have a website, so I'll take it from that angle. Um, I did just search up your um, uh, email that Taylor got. Um, into Google because I didn't really know like what your business name was or anything like that. So I did pull up this one right here, Herbs Place. So uh, if I got that wrong, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to assume that this is your business. Um, so um, I'll, I'll start it off by saying this. Um, nowadays, um, whenever people are looking for specific services or products uh, in in their uh, in the in the in their area. Um, what most people do is actually search on Google, uh, especially on their smartphones nowadays, uh, even on their laptops and computers and things like that still. But uh, most people are, are, are genuinely typing in, and like, let's say that my, um, my toilet breaks down or for whatever reason, or maybe I need uh, a tree removed or something like that. The first thing that people do is they'll go on Google, actually, and they'll type in, um, you know, toilet repair, Colorado Springs for plumbing in Colorado Springs, or plumber in Colorado Springs, or plumber, Colorado Springs, Colorado Springs plumber, uh, those kinds of variations. And then, more than likely, that you're probably going to hit the top five, top five, ten web, uh, websites that they see, um, like what they hear, and then check out the reviews and, and then go ahead and call them and set up an appointment with them. And so, there's no, nobody really uses like a roll, uh, um, a phone book or like a Dexter Media book, right? Or not even like magnets. You know, actually, when I visited homes and stuff, you'd see a lot more like magnets from people that, you know, stuff that they got from the from the um, mail. But you just see less of that because, in terms of like behavior and how um, technology is becoming more inundated with our everyday lives, it just becomes so much easier. We, at the palm of our hand, we can search up and look up anything rather than have to carry all these bulk magnets or not carry necessarily, but have them like loaded up and on your fridge and things like that. And so um, I think it just makes sense why people are doing it as well as um, why you need to make sure that you're front and center uh, in front of uh, this device as well. Because uh, the fact that um, Everyone's, especially even in, in, in the, when it has to do with like dispensaries in Colorado Springs, a lot of people um, come out here that are visiting and things like that and then are looking for um, a dispensary and they're not tied to a specific dispensary, you know? They don't know of a place called Herb's Place. They're not aware of another place called uh, Maggie's Farm or anything like that. And they're just literally just going out to Google and searching up dispensary in Colorado Springs. And so you just want to make sure that you're front and center for that. Now, the one thing is I know you're uh, in Colorado Springs, so I assume um, you're not recreational, you're uh, purely medical. And so um, we just want to make sure that we want to, you're front and center for everything that has to do with like medical dispensary in Colorado Springs or just dispensary in Colorado Springs. And then, um, you know, when someone types in dispensary, they can still have the red card, right? And so we just want to make sure that you're front and center for that kind of thing, right? Um, I just uh, did a video analysis for one of these guys. They're called Headmaster MMJ. And you'll see that they're, like, ranking online on Google right now. They're on the 18th spot right now. For the keyword Colorado Springs Dispenser. But you can see how many people are searching for this. 1,900 per month. Every single month. Now, this is actually on the low end, too. But that many people are searching into Google um, for looking for a Colorado Springs Dispenser. Same with uh, this phrase right here, another 1,300, so that makes a 20, 30, 200 in Colorado Springs dispensaries. Um, Colorado Springs MMJ dispensary in Colorado Springs, so all these variations. And so you can see, not just in the fact that um, you're, make, you're, you're making yourself more legit by, make, by having a website, but you can actually rank for these kinds of keywords when people type in into Google. There's no way I can rank a, a random weed maps page um, or a Facebook page for these keywords, but I can actually do that with your website and have more flexibility when I can have access to that. And so um, that's the difference between having a website and not having a website. Not only because um, you can't be found for the keywords that people are typing into Google, but also because um, 
you know, you don't seem as legit. So when so there, I'm sure there's actually people out there that are, that are typing in Herb's Place. But if you don't have a website, it's just one of those like subcon subconscious things that people are are going to assume that you're not like le as a, as a legitimate business as someone that does have a website and people might might actually not visit your site because like let's say that one of their friends tell them about this dispensary that they've been going to for years or months or whatever and they really like it and they're like hey yeah it's called Herb's Place you should check it out they're like oh okay and then you know they're not going to look through like a phone book of dispensaries and try and find out Herb's Place to learn more about you. They're going to type into their phone Herb's Place and see what pulls up. And so when what pulls up is going to be this right here when you have directions saved and a, a weed maps page and they're not going to find a website and they're going to be a little bit more prone to maybe not being sure whether you're legit as opposed to when someone types in um, these guys Headmaster MMJ and then pull up this site right here and clearly see that they're legit and they can look at some of the prices and or not prices but some of the uh, the strains that they have as well as some images and the edibles concentrates and some offers that they have as well as an address and it just it makes everything kind of more fleshed out so um, so yeah herbs place 50 people search it per month and that's a very specific kind of brand name. So I don't, I don't see people that don't know about your business typing that kind of thing. So um, you can see people are typing this kind of phrase into Google. And, uh, you know, that's why there's value in having a website. So um, I'll, wrap it, I'll wrap it up here, Freddie. Um, I hope at the very least you got some insight out of this. Uh, when you get a chance, would love to talk to you further about it. Um, you know, we're local here in the spring, so we can meet at your place or you can meet at um, our office or... Um, if you want to chat over the phone or email, uh, whatever floats your boat, we can go ahead and do that. So when you get a chance, we'd love to talk to you uh, further about this. All right, appreciate it, and thanks, and have a great day.